everybody i am anjali and welcome again to my channel today in this video i'm going to tell you how to measure and cut the kurti from unstitched embroidered suit material so let's get started so this is my suit piece and this is the dupatta this is fulkari suit and this is my suit material this is the embroidery for the front side of the kurti so first i'm going to take this front side of the kurti so it's looking like this from the front side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the center of the embroidery part so this is the center part so i'm going to um fold this from the center so i don't have the, uh, the neckline here so there are some suit where you have the neckline embroidered neckline so you have to take the center of the neckline also so here i'm going to take the center of this an uh, embroidery that i've got at the bottom side now just decide the length of your kurti so i'm going to take 46 inch long kurti so i'll add two more inches to it so i'm going to fold my fabric like this so I'll take one and a half inch extra at the bottom side and half inch at the top side where I will uh, attach both the pieces, the front side and the back side together. So from the shoulder, it will take half an inch. So I'm going to take like this way. So this will be the length of my kurti. So you have to manage your uh, length according to the embroidery. So now just cut this out. Now I'll cut the side of the fabric. Now I'm going to take the half of my neckline that is 3 inch and then half of my shoulder measurement that is 7 inch and i'm going to take half inch extra for the seam allowance so i'll take 7 and a half now i'm going to take 8 inch down for the armhole so i'm going to draw 8 inch long line here like this for my armhole now here i'm going to measure the burst points so just divide your burst measurement by 4 and then add half inch to it so mine is 38 so 38 divided by 4 is 9 and a half and when i will add 1 inch to it it makes 10 and a half so i'm going to measure 10 and a half here now just decide the depth you want to give to your neckline and then make a block here now you can make any design here in this block now take 1 inch for the shoulder drop and then join these two points together like this now from the shoulder measure the point where your waist is so mine is 15 inches down so i'm going to make one line here for my waist measurement and for the waist also again divide your waist measurement by 4 and then add 1 inch to it so just mark a point here for the waist measurement now i'm going to mark the hips point so from this armhole line i'm going to mark 15 inches down and then i'll make a line and here also similarly divide your hips measurement by 4 and then add 1 inch to it this will be my hips point now join these three points with a little bit of curve like this take 2 inch or 1 and 1/2 inch for the cutting now join these three points also now from here make a straight line till the bottom part and you have to make this line according to your embroidery you can't take your line 
out of this embroidery so just take straight down and then make one and a half inch of line from this corner for the armhole and then take half of this line so mine was eight so it is four inch half of it is four now from this four inch marking mark one centimeter of line and then join these points with little bit of curve so this will be our front armhole measurement so our measurement part is done now we are going to cut this out so here my front part is looking like this you can see now I'm going to trim this bottom part also little bit so here my front part is done now I'm going to place this on the back side and I will cut it out now my remaining fabric is looking like this so you just have to cut this remaining part and now from this fabric I'm going to cut the back side so just fold it from one side like this and place your front pattern on this properly now mark it so our front arm is much deeper than the back one so I'm going to mark everything similar except the front armhole measurement so here I'm cutting the shoulder drop and now from here I'll mark my back armhole measurement so for the back armhole again I'll take the same measurement seven and a half as a, a half of my shoulder and then eight inch of line this is for my armhole measurement and here I'm going to make the one and a half inch of line from this corner and then I'm going to give a curve so I'll make my curve in this block only I'll not take it out so this is the difference that we have for the back armhole measurement so now just cut it here you can make the any design you want for your neckline so this is my front side and this is the back side my both the sides are ready now we are going to cut the sleeves so with this fabric that I'm getting here I'll cut my sleeves and this is the fabric that I'm getting and with this I'm going to cut my salwar or plazo whatever you want to make for your lower part so it's looking like this here you can see so I'm going to make my sleeves here with this remaining fabric so whatever the measurement of your burst is take half of it and then add two inches to it so and mark a point here and then you have to take similar measurement for one more piece so here I've got two pieces of the same measurement so width will be this and length will be whatever length you want for your sleeves add two more inches to it so here you can see I've got two pieces of fabric and I'm going to cut my sleeves with this so just fold it from one side like so and from here from this open side I'm going to take two inch and I'll mark a point here and from this two inch I'll make a curve like so now from middle of this curve I'm going to take one inch long line and then touching this line I'm going to make one more uh, curve now from this downside I'm going to take one and a half inch of line now here mark the measurement the fitting of your sleeve so take half of it and mark a point here 
Now join these two points together like this and then give one and a half inch of seam allowance. Now cut this out. First cut this back side like this. Now cut this part. Now take two pieces of fabric and then cut this front part. So here my sleeves are also ready. My front side and back side is also done. Now I'm going to stitch this. So here my cutting part is done. Now with this remaining fabric here you can see. With this I'm going to cut my salwar piece. So I hope you liked this video and you learned how to cut your kurti from unstitched embroidery suit material. So if you liked it then please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next one. Till then you all stay happy. Bye.